What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise. And here we are for opening day against the St. Louis Cardinals. It has been a while since I have made an actual video, but it is time to get back in to this game and start season two. I'm going to be using a new mic from this point moving forward on this channel. So let me know if you guys like it. I'm going to try and figure it out and make sure that I'm producing the best audio for you guys. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit of an upgrade from my last microphone. Here is the opening day lineup here. If you guys watched the live stream, you guys would have seen me going through and making the proper cuts and send downs and call ups. But my Wi-Fi went out, so you guys actually did not get to see that uh, to its entirety. So this is a look here at what the opening day roster will look like here for the Cincinnati Reds. I'm excited to get this season started. As like I said, it's been a very long time since we wrapped up season one and we had an off season live stream and then two spring training live streams that I wanted to do just to get a look at the squad and get familiar with them. I'm familiar with them now and I am ready to get this season underway as you take a look at our payroll and our highest paid players. As you see, Tyler Stevenson is our highest paid. Then you have Ellie De La Cruz, the young, exciting shortstop, and then Hunter Green, our ace on the mound. The big free agent signings were CJ Crone was the biggest one. Randall Gritchick, the second highest paid signing. Gio Urshela, who can play just about anywhere in the infield. And then returning to the Cincinnati Reds is Jesse Winker. So I'm excited to get the opportunity to play with him some more. So here we are in St. Louis. MLB The Show does not understand the fact that the Cincinnati Reds always open up at home. But here we are. We're going to be on the road against the St. Louis Cardinals, who look to be about just as good as they were last year, as they were not a great team in the NL Central, as they did finish above us. But they did not have a great year, to say the least. So can we take advantage of this St. Louis Cardinals slump that they've been in the past year? So our roster changed a little bit from season one to season two, but it has not changed super drastically. We have a lot of young players, and I think the big focal point is to let the young players do their thing. As you see the opening day projections for the team here, you got average Tyler Stevenson, which I believe that probably could be true. And then Ellie de, Ellie de la Cruz leads the war category and stolen bases category. Today, we're going to be facing Jordan Montgomery. He was 9-14 and 14 last year with a 4.36 ERA, 138 strikeouts. Not a big strikeout pitcher here for the Cardinals with a 1.34 whip. As Ellie de la Cruz will lead off for the Cincinnati Reds. He batted 299 last season with two home runs and the limited playing time that he had when he was called up in September. 2-2 count here for Ellie De La Cruz, and he's going to send this one into shallow center field for out number one, and we are underway for the 2024 MLB season. I'm excited for this. I think we're going to get the series moving here. As you look at our starting lineup today, it looks like the best projected player is, like we said earlier, Tyler Stevenson. But here's Jonathan India, a guy that I think could have a breakout season here in year number four for himself, as he's going to send this one back up the middle for a base hit. So the Reds have one on with one out here in the top of the first he is in his fourth year here's Tyler Stevenson batting three for us and he's going to send a chopper to short and the only play is to first so two away as India advanced to sec advances to second here's CJ Crone the big free agent signing for us we have him on a two-year deal he is a little older but he brings the much needed pop to the lineup that we needed 2-0 count here for Crone and he sends this one to second and it goes under the glove of Brendan Donovan as this is going to score Jonathan India as the Cincinnati Reds will take a 1-0 lead here on opening day. That will be charged in air to the St. Louis Cardinals second baseman. That was a routine play right there. He just let it get underneath his glove. As here is Randall Gritchick now batting fifth for us as he will go down swinging. But the Cincinnati Reds take the lead in this one, 1-0. Here is Hunter Green on the mound for us. As last year was not a great year, a 5.22 ERA. He's looking to have a bounce back season this year. Here's Tyler Wade leading it off for the St. Louis Cardinals. And he'll go down swinging on the circle change. One away here for the Cincinnati Reds. Here's Brennan Donovan to the plate, and he'll send this one up to middle to De La Cruz. He makes the play. He's got a strong arm, and he is called safe at first. As David Bell is going to want to challenge this one. It looked like the throw got there a split second before Donovan hit first. So we'll take a look at the replay here, and if you slow it down, it does look like Crone had it right before Brennan Donovan's toe hit the base. This angle really doesn't do it justice right here, but we will see what the call in the field is as Brennan Donovan 
led the league in batting average last year. He's a guy that gets on base a lot, and they are going to call him out. So big-time challenge for David Bell. The first one I've used to perfection. Here's Arnado hit up the middle to India, and it will be a 1-2-3 inning for the Cincinnati Reds and Hunter Green. We move to the bottom of the second now. One away. Here's Alex Verdugo to the plate. And Verdugo will be hit by the pitch. It looked like Verdugo swung. I remember playing this one, and I was a little frustrated. Verdugo definitely went around, but they did not call it. It's a hit by pitch, so runner aboard for the St. Louis Cardinals as Nolan Gorman will hit this one in a deep left center field. Nick Sinzel on the move, and he will get there for out number two. Sinzel and Fairchild were battling for that starting center field position. They both won. One's in right and one's in center as Contreras will go down swinging for strike number three, and that will end the second inning. Top three now, Jonathan India, one for one on the day. Here's the 2-0 pitch from Montgomery. As India sends this one down the line, does it have enough? It's gone. Jonathan India with a solo home run to get the Cincinnati Reds a 2-0 lead. It's the Jonathan India show here in St. Louis. Home run number one on the season from India, and he is on pace for 162 home runs on the season. Hit that one about 363 feet. Initially off the bat, I, had, I thought that it had the chance to definitely get down for a double, but I did not think it had enough for a home run. Jonathan India is having the perfect start to this season. Here's Tyler Stevenson now, two away in the top of the third, and he sends the liner to Donovan for out number three. But Jonathan India has taken over this game. He is responsible for the only two hits that the Cincinnati Reds have through their first three innings of hitting. As he sent that one deep into left field. I guess he can't even say deep. It barely made it over the wall. Here we are, bottom three now, two away. Here's Tyler Wade, three, two count. And Wade will look at ball number four. That looked like it was definitely a strike. Here is Brennan Donovan now, 0-2 oh, count with two away. Wade leads off a of first. And this one is strike number three on the circle change. And Brennan Donovan couldn't take the bat off his shoulder. No hits for the St. Louis Cardinals. We go bottom four now. 2-2 two -two count to Arenado. And he goes down swinging on the slider. Four out number one. The fifth strikeout for Hunter Green up to this point. Two away. Bottom four. Here's Verdugo. And he will walk again. And it looked like he went around again, which is the craziest part of it. So that's a base runner for the St. Louis Cardinals. Here's Nolan Gorman. He goes down swinging on the circle change. And that will end the fourth inning. Still no hits for the St. Louis Cardinals. Hunter Green is dealing to this point. Pitch count starting to get up there, but he is doing his thing. He's walked a couple of batters, but no hits for the St. Louis Cardinals through four innings. Cincinnati leads two to nothing up to this point. Here's Sp uh, Spencer Steer, 3-0 count here, and he got the green light as he's going to send this one up the middle for a base hit. Spencer Steer, a guy that I really enjoy playing with here. He might be one of our better players on the team this season. He may not get the credit that he deserves. Here's Ellie De La Cruz, two away with Steer on first. And De La Cruz will send this one to Arenado. On to Donovan for out number three. Cincinnati still leads two to nothing. Here we are, bottom five now. Wilson Contreras at the plate. 2-2 two -two count. Contreras goes down swinging. It's the slider again for Hunter Green. 86 miles per hour. That's strikeout number seven for Hunter Green. Here's Tyler O'Neill now, 3-1 count. And O'Neill will watch ball number four. So another walk. For Hunter Green. He's had maybe a little bit of control issues here. Here's Lars Newtbar now with one away. O'Neill trying to steal and a perfect throw by Tyler Stevenson is in time for out number two. Big time play for Tyler Stevenson to throw out the speedy Tyler O'Neill. Here's Lars Newtbar. He'll hit this one over to Crone. Crone's got to get to the bag before Newtbar. He does. And that is five no hit innings pitched by Hunter Green. Here we are, bottom six now. There's one away. Brennan Donovan, 3-2 count, and he'll hit this one to Steer, broken bat. Steer's got to hurry, on to first, and they got him at first. Close play as Brennan Donovan about broke up the no-hitter here in the sixth inning. Here's Nolan Arenado now, 1-1 one, one count, 88th pitch coming up for Hunter Green, and this is a liner to Fairchild for out number three. Six no-hit innings for Hunter Green as Jake Woodford will take over on the mound now for St. Louis. We'll also bring on Jake Fraley to face the right-handed pitcher. We don't want Gritchick facing the right-handed pitcher, so we'll bring in Fraley. 1-2 count 
for Fraley, and he's going to send this one in the deep right center field. Does it have enough carry to get out? No, it does not. Tyler O'Neill ranges over to get there for out number one. That's a loud out number one. Here's Gio Urshela now. He's 0 for 1 on the day. Here's the pitch to him, and he's going to send this one into deep left center field. This one's got a lot of carry as well. Can this one get out? No, but it's off the wall as Gio Urshela will be in the second with a one-out double as the Reds will now have a runner in scoring position for Spencer Steer. He's 1 for 2 on the day. Here's the 1-0 pitch to Steer, and he's going to send this one back up the middle. Urshela will not test the arm of Tyler O'Neill. Runners on the corner now with one away. As this will bring up Nick Senzel now, he's 0 for 2 on the day. Here is the first pitch to him, and he'll send this one into left field, and this will easily be able to tag up Urshela. No throw at the plate, and the Cincinnati Reds will take a 3 to nothing lead here in the seventh inning. As the bottom of the lineup doing their thing. Here's Stuart Fairchild. Now he's 0 for 2 as well. He sends this one on the ground to Donovan on the second four out number three. As that will take us to the seventh inning stretch. And here is Hunter Green in the seventh inning. 3-0 count to Goldschmidt. And that will be ball four. So Hunter Green walks the leadoff man. Still no hits up to this point. But David Bell says that is going to be his last batter. As they will bring on... The new addition that they picked up, I believe we picked him up in the Rule 5 draft, and he is a dominant pitcher. But first, let's talk about Hunter Green and the dominant outing he had. No hits allowed as he went six innings. And here is Austin Davis, who we were just talking about. Six foot four, 235 pound left handed pitcher who we picked up in the Rule 5 draft. And he did not allow one earned run throughout the spring training. As Alex Verdugo will send this one into right center field. Sinzel is underneath of it, and that will be out number one here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, Austin Davis, no earned runs in spring training. We're definitely excited about what he can bring to the table. Here's Nolan Gorman on to India. Throws to De La Cruz, on to first to Crone, and a double play for the Cincinnati Reds. That's seven no-hit innings pitched by these Cincinnati Reds pitchers. What a game here on opening day. This one could be, be potentially turning in. To an unforgettable opening day. 3 to nothing, Cincinnati leads in this one. Don't look now, but we are getting close. Here's Lucas Sims now. He'll take the 8th inning for the Reds. As he was very good last year. Here's Contreras. Hits this one back to Sims. On to first for out number 1. They're 5 outs away from a combined no-hitter on opening day. What a game for this Cincinnati Reds team. Here's Tyler O'Neill to the plate, and he goes down swinging. Strike three, two outs. They are only four outs away from the no-hitter. Here's Lars Newtbar now. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Here's the pitch, and he goes down swinging on the slider. Eight no-hit innings for the Cincinnati Reds pitching staff. What a game here in St. Louis. Three to nothing, Cincinnati leads. This is looking crazy, folks. Here is Alexis Diaz. He was 40 of 49 on saves last year. He started to get a lot better last year as the first half of the season was very rough for him. They are three outs away from a no-hitter. Here's Tyler Wade now, 3-1 count. And he swings on the, at the fastball, 3-2 count now. Alexis Diaz is one pitch away from getting the strikeout. Here's the pitch from Diaz. And he gets Wade looking for out number one. They are two outs away from a no-hitter. You have your best pitcher on the mound right here, and the St. Louis Cardinals have their best hitter at the plate. Here's Brennan Donovan, strike number one, 0 1 count. The batting title leader a year ago looks at ball one, 1 1 count now. Here's the next pitch from Diaz. That's in there for strike two. Here's the 1 2 pitch. That's out, 2 2 count now for Brendan Donovan. This pitch is also away, so a 3 2 count now. For Brennan Donovan. Here's the 3 2 pitch from Alexis Diaz. And this one is up the middle for a base hit. Brendan Donovan breaks up the opening day no hitter. They were just two outs away from pulling off the combined opening day no hitter. But Brendan Donovan, the former batting league champion, the batting title champion, I should say. Breaks it up. This one sent up the middle. Diaz on to De La Cruz. On to Crone and the Cincinnati Reds have won 
the opening day game versus the St. Louis Cardinals, but they were just that close to a no-hitter. A dominant outing for the Cincinnati Red squad. Unfortunately, Brendan Donovan just had to break up the no-hitter with only two outs left from pulling it off. But we get the victory, and that is really the only thing that matters. A no-hitter isn't going to improve your playoff chances or anything. As you look at the box score here, Jonathan India, Gio Urshela, and Spencer Steer, all with two hits on the day. And then looking at the pitching, four walks from Hunter Green, but he had seven strikeouts, and he threw six innings of no-hit baseball. Austin Davis and Lucas Sims did their thing. And Alexis Diaz, he gave up a hit to the league's best hitter a year ago. Can't fault him too much on that one. As we pull off the victory, 9-5 versus the St. Louis Cardinals in game number two. Ellie De La Cruz with a three-hit performance. India with a two-hit performance. And Spencer, Spencer Steer also with a home run. Gio Urshela and CJ Krohn with one as well. As Nick Lodolo went six innings in this game, allowed four earn. And then Alex Reyes and Lucas Sims closed it off for the victory. So now it's time to look at scouting here. But first, it's time to look where will we be drafting. And we will have the number six pick in the draft. I believe we were number seven last year, or were we number six as well last year? We'll have to go in and look at our uh, team needs as, you know what's crazy, now that I'm sitting down to record this audio, I forgot to set up my team needs, like our positional needs. So that's a big mistake on me. Um, we'll figure that out for the second scouting cycle. I got too excited to look at these prospects and I totally forgot it. So putting ourselves at a disadvantage for sure, but we will, we'll figure it out. Mikey Ishii and Chu Tan are the two players that we're looking at um, as they both have this raw talent that we need to see if it's something that we can work with. You know, I don't really think we have a positional need. That's the crazy thing. So, you know, we'll just kind of go off of some of these guys that we enjoy looking at. We'll talk more about scouting in the next episode, more than likely. If not, in the third episode of this season, we'll look at scouting. As we pull off the sweep against the St. Louis Cardinals as we went 6-2 to two in game number three, as you see Spencer Steer had a two-hit day, Randall Gritchick with a two-hit day, and Jonathan India with a two-hit day. But Spencer Steer goes yard, Ashcraft goes seven innings, one earn with five strikeouts, Tony Santion allows one earn, and then Alexis Diaz gets save number two on the year. But... Jonathan India with some shoulder soreness during today's game against the Miami Marlins. He'll miss a couple of games as we lose this one 8-10 versus the Marlins. As we had a lot of guys get some hits for us. Spencer Steer with another two-hit day. He had a home run. Crone with one. Stevenson with a home run. And Stuart Fairchild with a home run. So the power is more on display this season. But Jonathan Heasley couldn't even complete one inning as he allowed seven earned runs. And because of that... Austin Davis also allowed two earned, so he allows his first earned runs as a Cincinnati Red. But Jonathan Heasley was so bad that his ERA and his whip is infinite. So we are going to send him down to the AAA level. You know, it's unfortunate that it took one start, but if he could have just allowed maybe four earned runs and two innings pitched, I could let him stay up there, but he couldn't even finish one inning. So Andrew Abbott has been promoted to the MLB level, and we will win game number two here against the Marlins. Two hit days for Winker and Gritchick and Spencer Steer with a two hit day as well as Gritchick goes yard. And this one, as you can see, Spencer Steer is having a ridiculous start to the season as Victor Castaneda had his MLB debut, goes five innings, three earned runs. As we lose the finale versus the Marlins, so the Marlins will win this series as a two hit day for Nick Senzel as he led the way pretty much offensively for us in this game. As Hunter Green goes four innings, three earned. Just a complete opposite of what he did on opening day. On opening day, Justin Dunn, Santion, Han, and Sims also came out of the bullpen. Looking at your league leaders, Spencer Steer is number one in home runs with three home runs to start the 2024 season. Is he poised for a huge breakout? As we will also see Marco Bautista's professional debut in the next episode down at the AA level. But that's going to do it for episode number one practically of season number two i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said i want to apologize for forgetting to set my positional needs during scouting i'm going to leave a huge note for myself the next time that we i sit down to record a video because we need to make sure that we're telling the game what our positional needs are so that we can get that extra uh, scouting bonus and interest percentage up it's definitely important to have that stuff put down and i forgot about it so i apologize for that but if you guys enjoyed the start to season number two, leave a like, comment, subscribe, 
and I will see you guys in the next episode as we potentially become a lot better of a team here in season two. See ya.